No, I would not buy another Corsair HX1000 power supply. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the power supply itself, it's the cables. My problem is Corsair advertise the power supply as having a certain number of connectors and so you plan your build around that to make sure you can plug everything in, but when you get the box, they don't supply enough power cables to be able to plug in every single socket. So I thought no problems, I just approached the different retailers in my area to get spare cables, but I found out Corsair don't offer spares. So if you ever damage these cables, you can't get replacements. So eventually I had to go and get these uh, very expensive custom ones, um, but you can't buy these individually. And I had to pay over a hundred New Zealand dollars to get a set of power cables to get just one PCIe cable. By comparison, EVGA gives you enough cables to plug in every single port on the power supply and you can also buy spares for around 10 New Zealand dollars each so considerably cheaper. So when you consider that the EVGA power supplies are about the same price you get a full set of cables and often you get a better 10 year warranty it just doesn't make any sense to continue buying the Corsair HX1000 power supplies. So that's why I've changed over to completely using EVGA now. If you found that interesting, try clicking on the suggested video by YouTube or maybe even clicking on my channel to see what other videos that you might like. Thanks for watching.